We all play the same Clash of Clans that we know and love, right? Well, all of us except for China. Yup, China has their own version of Clash of Clans and it's crazy. If you've never seen Chinese Clash of Clans, you're in for a shock. From exclusive skins to a diamond pass, grab a cup of elixir because we have a lot to talk about. Alright guys, I'm going to start off by explaining Chinese Clash of Clans. It's the same game, just with some different features and different skins and sceneries, and some changes to troops and stuff, but pretty much it's the same game that gets the same updates as our global version of Clash of Clans. So let's start with some of the smaller changes, like this. For some reason, the skeleton spell has been changed from the color red to the color green. I forgot to mention China has, like, a bad government right now, and they're, like, really strict for weird things, so it's probably because the skeleton spell looks more like blood. And for the Next change, it's actually pretty weird because apparently China really hates pirates because they completely removed the pirate skins and the pirate flag. Another very unnecessary change was changing the skeletons in Clash Clans to robots. Oh, and by the way, that robot is way more creepy than the skeleton is. Okay, so there are China's little changes, but now let's get into some of the actual Chinese Clash Clans features. Okay, the first item that we don't have and China does is a magic item called the Magic Horn. It's a horn that lets you write a message to all players. Just think of it like global chat but you write one message and it's a magic item pause the video and read this if you want to know more about the magic horn one more thing about magic horn is i am very surprised that clash clans even allows this in china you probably remember a lot of toxic players in global chat mainly spoiled nine-year-olds imagine one of them sending a message to every single player in the country think of what they could say Subscribe if you want the magic horn to come to our Clash of Clans. And now it's time for the craziest feature. Just like Clash Royale, Chinese Clash of Clans has a diamond pass. Yeah, they literally have one. If you don't play Clash Royale, you probably don't know what a diamond pass is. It's just like a better version of the gold pass that costs more money, but you get more perks and cosmetics. Ever since the diamond pass was added to Clash Royale, people have been rumoring that it's coming to Clash of Clans. People took the diamond pass logo from China and pretended that it was coming to global Clash of Clans. But then, thankfully, the community manager of Clash of Clans said this is fake. So yeah, I just wanted to let you know that the Diamond Pass is not coming to our Clash of Clans, it's just in China. Boy, let me tell you, I am happy about that. Okay, so the advantage of buying the Diamond Pass over the Gold Pass in China is that the Diamond Pass gives you a 7th Builder. Yeah, so a 7th Builder, I think the Diamond Pass in China might actually be worth it. That would be like getting the Goblin Builder and the Diamond Pass and you wouldn't have to spend a crazy amount of gems. Well, although the Diamond Pass in Clash of Clans might seem like a cool feature, we should be happy that we don't have it because, you know, this would just make the game more pay the win if the only way to get the 7th Builder was to spend money. This would really suck for free-to-play players, so I'm happy that we're not getting it. The next Next feature is a completely new currency. This is surprising because there are so many different currencies in Clash of Clans and for some reason, Chinese Clash of Clans has another currency. If you have any idea what this is, please let me know in the comments. It really looks like some sort of ticket. So you can see right there, there's gems and tickets that you can buy stuff with. This is probably just another cash grab from Supercell, but I do not see a reason for another currency in Clash of Clans. I actually found this picture from a different video talking about the tickets. So I'm going to put it into Apple Translate and see what it says. So right here, it says new currency coupon, currency name coupon. Um, I guess Chinese Clash of Clans has coupons? If I scroll down on Translate, it says coupons can be used to buy gems and the stall is the same as the previous purchase of gems. This is literally so dumb. They're trying to get you to buy tickets and then you can spend those tickets on gems. Why don't you just buy the gems? But it actually looks like there's something else that you can spend these on, which are chests. We've never seen chests in Clash of Clans. Well, sorry, I mean treasure chests. So yeah, coupons, another unnecessary feature. Okay, so those are all the different features in the Chinese Clash of Clans server, but now it's time to look at the Chinese sceneries. Okay, the first scenery we're looking at is this underwater sea turtle scenery, and it's one of the coolest sceneries Clash of Clans has ever made. I am so jealous that this is not in our Clash of Clans. I hardly ever buy sceneries in Clash, and if this comes in to our Clash of Clans, I'm literally gonna buy it. It's so cool. So the color scheme of the scenery is blue and gold, and it looks really nice. And here's something really weird about this scenery. That's literally the Pirate King standing right there, which is so 
so weird because Clash of Clans in China banned the Pirate King. I do not understand the Chinese government. They wouldn't let them have pirate skins, but now they're letting them have them in the scenery. So yeah, there's a bunch of buildings on the side of the turtle. You can actually see the Jungle Queen slivering right there on top of the building. Another surprise is there's a giant Pirate King statue. This literally does not make sense to me. I, I do not. I just do not understand this. And you can see there's a big pink fish on that side as well as on the other side. This stuff right here is so cool. Another random really cool thing is you can just see the chess queen just standing right there. Yeah, guys, I can confirm that this is my favorite scenery ever. I, I'm kind of jealous of China right now. There's a sneaky goblin sleeping in a clamshell. I mean, this this is just the coolest scenery ever. <laughs> Let me know what you think about the scenery down in the comments, and let's check out the next scenery. This next scenery is called the Heaven Scenery, and it is not near as cool as that ocean scenery. Okay, so this scenery actually looks like a Chinese scenery, which makes sense. Yeah, so we got some dragons on the staircase right there, and then some sort of character right there. I don't know who that is. But, I mean, this, this scenery looks decent. For some reason, all the characters in this scenery are 2D, and I don't know what that is. It looks like a giant teapot. <laughs> That's kind of cool. The color scheme of the scenery is white, blue, and gold, which does look pretty nice. But as a mostly 3 to play player, I definitely would not buy this scenery. Now it's time to look at Clash of Clans exclusive Chinese skins. But first, I'm just going to remind you, you should really subscribe to the channel because I'm going to keep making videos just like this one. Alright everyone, this is the Chinese King skin, which actually looks pretty cool. You can see he's like gold and red and black and white are the color schemes. He's got that hair hanging out of his helmet, pretty cool cape, and I'd say this is a decent skin, maybe like a 6 or 7 out of 10 for me. Yeah, I don't know, let me know what you think about this skin. And now for the Chinese exclusive Archer Queen skin, I personally really dislike this design I don't like the green hair and red outfit and then the foxtails are like ridiculously big and everything I just really do not like this design one more reason is this does not look like a Clash of Clans skin at all I think every skin in the game needs to look like it's from Clash of Clans this does not look like it's from Clash of Clans and she just looks really weird so that's a 2 out of 10 Sorry for the low quality image, but here's the Chinese Grand Warden skin. It's actually really hard to find this stuff, so don't blame me. He has wings, an orange beard, an awesome looking hammer. This skin actually looks really cool. Yeah, this is a really nice skin, so I'm going to give it an 8.5 out of 10. Now, this is the Royal Champion skin. The color scheme is blue and yellow, and honestly, this one looks really good compared to the Archer Queen skin. The Royal Champion shield in the skin is really cool, and her shovel thing. I don't know what that is. The really odd thing about the skin is why did they change her skin color? For some reason, I could not find gameplay footage for the royal champion or grand warden skins but i did for the king and queen so here's the king in an attack just like all legendary skins the king spawns custom barbarians now here's a quick look at the archer queen skin in an attack i have to mention one more time why are the foxtails bigger than the queen and of course the archer queen spawns custom archers and you can see the archers are actually foxes which is actually really cool that's by far the best part of this skin. All right, guys, that's basically all I could find for Chinese Clash Clans. This stuff is pretty hard to find, so leave a like or a comment and squish that subscribe button.